necessarily want to do like the first few Ultima games. Like, I don't know if you guys would watch like Ultima 4 LP without me doing. Well, I might do three, but I, I probably wouldn't do the first two games. Yeah, we don't actually. I mean, we have like uh, a little bit of 3D animation in like the beginning, like the the, the beginning cinema and stuff. But um, I, don't, I, I don't actually know. You'd have to ask Tanya actually what what that was created in. I think she actually got that animation from somebody. All I can say is, man, I, can, I can't wait for people to play episode two. I think that's going to be huge. I really think that people are going to see episode two and they're going to be like, wow, episode one was good, but sure. Wow, holy shit. Like, all these backgrounds and shit were, you know, created in Photoshop. All the special effects were painstakingly hand-drawn, frame by frame. A pitch for Sony? Okay. I just want to add a... I, I'm, and I'm speaking out of experience here, Slayer Dark. Um, if you're going to deal with Sony, you have to be incorporated. Thank you, Mobile Master. You have, to, you have to be incorporated. You have to be a corporate entity. And you have to be like an LLC or some sort of incorporated company to deal with Sony. They, they are currently reevaluating that... That whole uh, I can't talk today. They're reevaluating that uh, that idea, but right now that's the way. Policy is the word I was looking for. They're reevaluating your policy. Who just? Name's Ted. Oh, hi, Ted. Uh, actually, um, the sound effects and the music were done by a number of different people. There was not one composer that um, worked on everything. Um, we had a number of different artists that worked on this game. So actually, uh, you, you see it in the credits off the top of my head. Uh, there were a couple of bands, like uh, Sketchy Logic was one of the bands that did songs for us. Uh, obviously, the end credits theme was my friend Marielle Thomas. Uh, Kevin McLeod was an artist that we got music from. There was a bunch of them. But it's not just like one person, that, which is why I think there's a wide variety. The second game is still a bunch of different artists, but you'll see a lot more of um, Lynn uh, Parmoni in the chat. Her husband did a good chunk, like I want to say a third to half of the music in the sequel. Some of which is reimagined songs from the first game, but there's also E Rock from YouTube did a couple of songs for us. You know, Mary Elle did two more songs for us, so, you know. See, this is a good discussion. I'm just like waiting for the other shoe to drop. Somebody's gonna be like, Necro, what do you think of ketchup? I don't know that actually because, like I said, it's like with the grab. I don't do the music, but um, I don't know what the artists used. You'd have to ask them actually. I wasn't involved in that. Actually, Lynn can probably tell you what Josh uses, uh, software-wise. I probably got enough uh, money now. at the end, though. Oh, there's a pretty cool scene here. I should have showed you this before. Lynn is Parmoni. Her husband is Josh Morte McAvater, who, a cadaver, who did a lot of the music for episode two. Yeah. Lynn, what is what software does Josh use? 
I'm about to have a threesome here. No, I would not, Mughal Master. Oh, man. Okay, Ro the Robin Williams thing. Yeah, GT. See, that's a good question. Actually, I was super, super bummed out. I am a huge fan of his. There are movies that I thought looked like shit that I gave it a chance because he was in it. And I'm such a huge I'm a fan of his comedy. I was a fan of him as a dramatic actor. I was so bummed. So was Tanya. I mean, Tanya, I think, might have cried. I mean, we I was super bummed out about it. Uh, so he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. I need more armor before I buy weapons. Yeah, and actually, like, like Marielle, like, goes into a recording studio and does stuff there, so. And I, I don't know, the other artists, you'd have to, like, go to their websites and ask them. Uh, I'll be honest with you, and I'm not gonna lie, I do not know who Lauren Bacall is. Oh, right, weapons. I honestly do not know who that is. Gonna be back to fighting enemies. Let's go fight some more enemies! Normally I don't have to do this because I grind so much in the beginning of the game to get to level 10 to fight the wag. By the way, Casey, did you know that we call Chris the wag? Claws. But enough about my wife. Oh! <laughs> Humphrey Bogart's wife. Well, I mean, I, I, w w wouldn't that have been quite a while ago, Slayer Dark? When did that happen? I mean, seriously. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, if I don't even know who it is... Werewolves look like the guy from Darkstalkers, you know what? You're, you're right. You're right. Kind of. I think Tanya's a fan of Darkstalkers, I'm not sure. <coughs> that might have been on purpose. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it might have been. That Frigis animation and the ice shards coming up, that's like one of my favorite things that I did in special effects wise in this game. Nah, he doesn't look like Saberwolf. Definitely more like the one from Darkstalkers. Whose name I can't. Name escapes me. Right now. Lemo. Lul. Ted says Lul. It was a killer in I didn't even know that there was a killer instinct on the Game Boy. That is a really ridiculous idea. Hello, out of sight. I've not seen the AVGN movie. I'm waiting for the digital release because I don't live near a major city. I mean, I could go into New York City to see it, but... Uh, that could be never heard of why. 
Oh, there's no beast. Ah, well. Slayer, I'll be honest with you. Somebody dying at the age of 89 of a stroke is not... I mean, it's sad for the person's family and everything, but it's not exactly a tragedy like, you know, a middle-aged man committing suicide out of, you know, depression. I mean, honestly, it's not even similar. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, what's that fella? Uh, R R Richard Attenborough just died recently. He's 90. He's uh, the old guy that was in Jurassic Park. And, you know, a lot of movies. Mostly known for playing Hammond in Jurassic Park. You know, it was all over Facebook. And literally, like, people were hitting me up on Steam. This guy, your Richard Attenborough died. And I'm like, yeah, but he was 90. He had a really good run. So, I don't see, like, it, like, really bummed about that. It's, like, not even on the same level. I mean, I'm sure his family is sad. I'm sure they miss him. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I mean, 90 years old, you had, you've had led a good, full life. What movie? What movie scared the shit out of you? Oh, Jurassic Park? Is that what you're talking about? James Gandolfini, um... No, I wasn't sad. I was kind of I was kind of shocked because he wasn't like sick or anything. I think he died of like a really sudden heart attack. I wouldn't say I was sad because I mean I, I like the Sopranos, you know, but I wasn't like to Robin Williams. I felt like I had like more of a personal connection because I was touched by a lot of his performances actually, like Bicentennial Man, and you know, I mean, so that was more of a personal thing for me. It's like. You can't, like, get, like, really super sad every time a celebrity dies, because there's so many of them out there, and it all happens, you know? I'm sorry to hear that, Ajax. Maybe if you refresh your browser, some people say that helps. I could imagine that is irritating, I guess. I, yeah, I, I kind of think you guys have, like, kind of shitty internet. Are you all on Comcast or something? Because, I, I like, I'm streaming out and recording, and I have the stream up. I'm watching it, and I'm not having a hard time. So I'm, I'm thinking this is, like, uh, are you guys all on Comcast? Because that sucks. I have Optimum Online. It's fucking awesome. Actually, I'm curious. Let's do a call here in the chat. What, what, what internet do you guys have? Let me know in the chat. That's one person in Comcast. Oh my god, GTA. Yeah, you gonna repeat that for me? Yes, I've seen it. It was good. I, I Yes, I've seen it. I'm not like a big fan, but I've seen it. Canadian Comcast. Did they at least apologize when they fuck you over, Slayer? Go to the next level. Century Link I've never heard of. Chaney B, who's been quiet in the chat so far. Well, you did say you like Bicentennial Man, so that... It doesn't make us friends, but we do agree on it. <laughs> oh my. I was hoping Andrew and a lot of the other, uh... Uh, people would be in here, but um, Andrew is having a movie night. They're all in another live stream watching. Uh, what are they watching? They're watching This Is Spinal Path, which I'm sorry I'm missing, but I had scheduled this. Send Jesse to apologize to you, and that's. I gotta admit that that's that's fucking funny. Wow, is that a is that an internet thing? I thought the World of Warcraft. You know what, I, I don't know if you, I, I, if he said this uh, when we were recording, but at one point, um, Jesse Armageddon Time said that, um, oh hey, S Serpent, hey, uh, Jesse said that uh, Canada 
you know, the kind of people they are. They actually, uh, like, America went to war for our independence. We went to war with the British Empire to gain independence. Canada just waited a hundred years and asked politely. Yeah, it worked. The prestige, you know, I've never actually seen that. What a DVD, though. I should watch it one day. It's living hard, my boy. Leveling up, breath of ice. Leveling up. We'll get Isis in Zeria level, and then I'll move on here. That was work, S Serpent. Are you ready to eat some souls? Oh, my. You need a longer one. I should do like a stream as George Decay one day. Hey, this is George Decay, and I'm playing Chronicles of a Dark Lord. I like my man, Doc. Oh my. Uh, GTA, my next Let's Fail. Actually, I cannot give you a hint as to what the next Let's Fail will be because I don't know. I have not come up with the idea. Um, I really, really enjoyed Vulgar the Viking. George Decay FPS. You got owned, noob. <laughs> hey, don't talk shit about my Kia. Hail to the king, baby! I would only be in Duke Nukem if they changed all the strippers to men with the musculature. Alright, we're all leveled up. And I think I got enough money. Should I say that in the door? I like my men like I like my coffee. Black and bitter. Oh my, I went into the castle by mistake there. I'm such a fan of George Decay. I'm gonna be so sad when he dies, man. I, that I'm gonna be bummed out about. He hasn't, like, aged in a while, so I think he's pretty well preserved, but... Oh man, you know, he can't last forever. I, that is one thing, I will be sad about that. What's your cat's name? I like my women evergreen. I gotta agree with you on that. Evergreen is fucking hot. Oh my god. Did you see the dreamers, S Serpent? Oh, I don't need that. Diamond. Hey, Diamond! Hey, Diamond! Meow, meow! I was doing that to Tanya's dog earlier. Tanya has a dog, and uh, and he was hanging around while we were on Skype. But I started, going, and he started doing that. And I got him all riled up. It's pretty fun, dude. Esther, you gotta watch the Dreamers. Terrible movie. It's not a good movie, but you gotta watch it because Evergreen, young Evergreen, like 19-year-old Evergreen, is like fully fourth base nude throughout. I want to say like a third of the movie. Uh, Tanya has, I forgot the actual breed, it's a kind of, like, bulldog, pit bull sort of thing, um, he's really adorable. He's really cute. The important part, like, almost the whole movie, she's in some sort of state of undress, she's, like, fully forth, oh wait, I didn't get the side quest, let me go get that. I mean, I'm talking like full vagina and everything. Oh, like so. Yeah, I didn't really explore the town too good. Womanly character. Yeah, well, Evergreen. She certainly has womanly characteristics, let me tell you that. Oh my, is right. Shit. <laughs> you know, Moogle Master, leave it up to you to drop the discourse down a level or two. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, Tanya tried to make her name CEO K Studios, but it, they didn't let. They only let you use one capital letter at the beginning, so it looked like Kiox Studios. You have an idea for a James Bond movie, and you want to tell me? Uh, well, I'm not affiliated with that. So. 
Civilization six. Uh, well, you know, I don't know. I mean, Civilization six is probably a good ways off. Uh, Beyond Earth is coming out, and I'll probably do some videos on that. But um, that's more like Civilization V's sequel. But um, you know, like I have a lot more to do with Civilization Saturday for Civ V. You know, hopefully by the time I'm done with that and I've done like all the playthroughs. Yeah, Civilization Beyond Earth is coming out in October. It's actually a direct sequel to Civilization V. It has the same mechanics and everything. But, um, you know, hopefully by the time I, uh, I'm done with, you know, five for the playthroughs, I uh, six will be out. I certainly do. Would you see a James Bummer if they made him gay? No. Stupid question, dude. It's a really stupid question. I do want to hear this idea of yours, because I know you're a, a, as big a, fan, a Bond fan as I am. I'm just going to do the side quest part of this real quick. Burn it with fire! Burn it with fire! Okay. Quantum comes. All right. Well, I think now that they've sort of established the series, and they, you know, the Quantum could be like the new Spectre. You know? Norn Relic. They can't use the Blofeld character. They are legally not allowed to. to Simpsons references. I you think it's called a bus that couldn't slow down. Yeah, Slayer. I mean, it's not a bad idea so that they, they, they can't use the quantum. Uh, they could use quantum, they can't use Spoko. McElroy would be forever. Up. in the Clonosaurus. I'm gonna stay at the end because I got a boss fight coming up. A Bond film with aliens? Come on, dude, that's stupid. It's like something like if 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 people like die another day, they probably would have done that next. I haven't saved in a while. Hmm. Gustav Salander. <laughs> I like that. Um, about 15 hours, probably. GTA, that's who I'm answering with. Facility. No, 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 you're kind of losing me on this. No, man, I don't know. Now you're getting a little off the wall here. Like, 
you gotta remember, the reason that people like Skyfall so much is because it was more grounded, less fantastical. You start, like, doing James Bond clones and all sorts of crazy crap. I don't know about that. Turn rise him, he's like 80 years old. Earthbound or Metal Gear Solid? Uh, I mean, Metal Gear Solid, I mean, I don't like either of them, but come on, I mean, yeah. Oh, don't do that, Galena! What the fuck, man? Hurry up. Finally. You lost me when you started clones and all that. I, uh, reminds me of like the kind of stuff you know, uh, that I never pay. Get my ass kicked here. I really am getting like my ass fucking kicked. But I saved it. Well, this sucks. I'm gonna let just let him kill me and reload it because I'm I forgot the trick I'm gonna do this fucker. I'll be good. I'll be right back. Just gonna won't take long. Okay, we're back. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, there'll be a movie feature in October. There absolutely will be. Now we're doing a sequel? This is, it's getting into fan fiction territory now. I think I'm literally too low of a level to be doing this. Oh no! Cock. Damn it. Right before Isis. Son of a biscuit, man. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, we'll try that again. That was my bad. That was the game. Over. Didn't think that would happen, but I forgot how hard that motherfucker is. If you write that fanfiction, I will read it. If you write a fanfiction about me realizing that Earthbound is my favorite game of all time. I will read it out loud on my channel. I think that's the funniest fucking idea ever. I'm gonna use a quick scroll. Bye. 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 